All right, so I'm just about to get my day going here. Gonna grab some water out of the fridge. And where is the water? It's way too bad. Why is there only one water left? I just filled this thing. Anyways, gonna get some water and head to the gym. Leg day, a little bit of ab day. It's gonna be good. Just had that 10K run yesterday, so my legs are a little sore, but not too bad. I, uh, my knee hurts a bit, but it's all good. We're just gonna get going, go do some leg day, some abs, and uh, then hit up the grocery store. I gotta go get some groceries. Um, there isn't much here to eat, so gym, then get some groceries, make myself some lunch, and uh, I don't know what else I'll do for the rest of the day. So, all right, let's get this going. Yeah, like naked guy with a fucking man's arm in his hand. So, so all right, I'm done. I think this is recording. Yeah, we're recording. All right, so I'm done at the gym. Just got my leg day, my ab day all in. That's good news. Got a protein shake. It's phenomenal. I gotta buy more protein. I ran out, so it sucks. These things are expensive, but it tastes really good. But now that the gym's done, I gotta find out about uh, getting a Nexus card, and I gotta find out about who banks as an affiliate bank or something like that with CIBC in the US because I'm Canadian, I live in Canada and my bank CIBC but I'm going to be starting to work in the US and um, the payroll there obviously they have to direct deposit into an American bank so I got to figure out who will like I because I can go get any bank over there but I want to find out what will be the easiest bank to transfer my my uh, weekly income from the job to a Canadian bank so that I have the money to spend over here on my bills and and whatever I gotta do because I'm gonna be living here so so that's where I'm on I'm gonna go to the bank right now check that out see what they have to say and then I gotta go home look up the Nexus card stuff and uh, yeah that's what I'm gonna do this afternoon so I'll talk to you guys later all right so I just got back from the grocery store and the bank the bank is all set up i don't know if it's gonna work i made a u.s account and applied for a u.s visa but uh i don't know if it's gonna work for direct deposit at the uh um at the where i'm gonna be working so i don't know we'll see what happens if they say no then i open american bank what is this it's almost dead <sighs> yeah i know it sounds terrible i forgot to shut off my gopro last night Damn. And, um, so that's done, um, I got, I got groceries, I got two things, I got, uh, some Greek yogurt, lime flavored, and some chicken bacon. I think I'm gonna have bacon, chicken bacon and eggs for dinner, I don't care, it's gonna be good. And, uh, so, yeah, that is good, all that's good, so this afternoon, this evening, I don't know what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna... Probably just gonna relax. My girlfriend's working till like 10 o'clock tonight, so I'm pretty much all alone. I might just play some more Grand Theft Auto 5 online. So you got the poster. I put it up, it's ridiculous, eh? I'm like, I'm 26 years old and I have a video game poster on a wall. It's ridiculous, but whatever. I put it up because I had nothing else to put on the wall, so whatever, screw it. And uh, so, yeah, the camera that I'm using, the vlog, I just wanna talk about it quickly because something's kind of annoying me about it and so, anyways, what it is is a Canon Shot Power, uh, Canon Shot. It's a Canon Power Shot. Uh, what is it called? E L P H five thirty H S. And Harley wants to be in the footage, so I'll just hold her and talk. So, yeah, you gotta stay here. Yeah. And uh, so, the one thing I don't like about it, it's not that okay. It's all touchscreen on the back, which is fine, but. The one thing that's annoying is recording video because that's primarily what I'm using it for. And to record the video, what I have to do is you have to touch the button on the back of the screen. And it's kind of annoying when you're in a situation like this where I have it on a tripod and I'm trying to, uh, to record, but it's like I can't find the button on the back with like I kind of know where it is but sometimes I get it sometimes I don't so I usually have to take the the camera and tripod flip it around push the button then put it there and it kind of just sucks especially for editing because then I'm always chopping the first little bit but uh I don't know that's one of my biggest pet peeves I wish I probably should have just looked it was on sale like I got it for $140 which is pretty good at Best Buy 
and like it's a good camera. the The video quality is awesome. So same with the audio for it, audio for it, and uh, it takes good pictures. Like I'm not complaining about the quality of that. It's really good. It's just like the usability of it kind of kind of lacking a bit. But I don't know. I I wish it had like a manual where I could just switch it to record mode and I could click the button at the top because like the other day I was hunting and I was in like a blind where you lay down it's called a coffin blind and you co cover the top on top of you and when the birds come you flip it open and you sit up and then you can shoot so I had it mounted by my head on this bar but um, I didn't want to leave the camera on all the time recording and, and plus that's another thing it only records for 10 minutes and then it stopped I don't know if that's a common feature or whatever but like the GoPro, I can record for however long the battery lasts, pretty much. I have the max capacity uh, uh, SD card, so, like, space-wise, if it's an empty card, that's not an issue. So I could just leave it on for, like, four hours because I have the expended ba extended battery pack and record. But with this, it's like I can't really... I can't just leave it recording because it only records 10 minutes and it stops. And I don't want to leave it on because it'll kill the battery because, like I said, it's a huge, giant screen, so it's draining the battery. I turned the the brightness all the way down to save, save some, but it kind of sucks. The battery life kind of can be pretty crappy if you're filming a lot of video because it's always on. I can't, I couldn't find a way to turn it off. So maybe if there's a way to turn it off, let it, let me know. Cause I don't need to see the back of the screen when I'm just sitting here looking at the, the camera. So, so those are my biggest pet peeves with that. So oh, anyways, about the blind. So I had it sitting there and it's like, all right, like you're, you're in the blind, you can't really move. So it's not like I can sit up and like grab the camera and push the button to see like when the birds are coming it's like I want to be inconspicuous so they can't see so I just simply it'd be nice if I could just click the top of the button because it's easy to find I can feel it without even looking but it sucks because like I have to pretty much like twist it down to find the button on the screen and then set it back to its position which hopefully is where it, I want it to be and then record so it's kind of a pain where like this GoPro is awesome because I have this thing here, the GoPro thingy that I made, and I just mount the uh, the GoPro on the end, and I stick it out like a little gap in the in the blind, and I can just kind of like move it around, and, and it's, it's pretty sweet. I have some videos of it. Maybe I'll throw them in just to show you guys. We didn't shoot anything or anything, so there's nothing cool like that on. But I'll just show you what it what it looked like. all right so that's it for today's vlog kind of give you a little look into the hunting footage although it wasn't that great um hopefully gonna get some better stuff in the future my camera died halfway through and the gopro died like two hours in and there was some stuff of some ducks trying to land but uh it's just too hard to see so i left it out and just just showed you kind of what we did that day i should hopefully be able to get some better stuff in i just started this vlogging thing so I'm really starting to learn like how I should actually approach to do it so I'm gonna try to do a lot more talking and explaining when I'm on the way to the hunt and stuff like that to get a little bit of a better update I tried to do that in my car but the footage was so bad because the vibration like I couldn't I didn't even want to put it up the other one in my car was kind of bad too 
I think I'm going to have to get a better way of holding it in my car. Right now I'm just setting on the dash and the tripod, but it seems to vibrate too much. So maybe I'll try to uh, use my GoPro suction cup mount or, or figure something out. Maybe just hold my hand. I don't know. So that's a look at the hunting stuff. Um, today, not that much that really went on. Just the gym, the, the bank, simple stuff, daily life things. So anyways, thanks for watching my vlog. And um, yeah, I'll bring another one back at you tomorrow. Just going to try to do this every day if I can. See how it goes. At least I'm going to try to do one every day for at least a month. And if it's too much work, then I'll reevaluate my plan. And if I find that I can keep doing it, I'm just going to keep doing it. I know things are going to get a little more complicated here soon once I start my job because I'll be a lot more busy. Obviously, working 40 hours a week will take up a lot of time. But I'm still going to try to do it. I don't know how entertaining they'll be, but I'm just going to bring you along through the ride through my life. And we'll see what happens. Let's go. Let's do this. So, I don't know. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.